like right now, I'm I'm going through a a divorce. I'm I'm living with the devil, and it is very tempting. It's very tempting for me to be vicious because she's vicious with me, and but you know. She, uh, so your, your, the woman that your wife, the woman that you're going through the divorce with right now, is still living with you. Yes. Why don't you put her out? <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't really work that way. I mean, I can't, I can't physically take her in and, and throw her out on, on onto the street. You, you know, you but, don't have to do it that way. You can tell her to leave. Oh yeah, no, I I told her. But uh, I, I can't because she's also uh, owner of the house, as I'm the owner of the house as well. We both own the house. Oh, I see. Yeah. What a mess. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. have so children? It, it, yep. One. One. Why did you marry her? Uh, um, because I got beta ties. <laughs> I got beta ties, then I followed, was not strong enough to be myself and to say this is what it is and uh, be okay with letting letting that go. But I've, I've learned a lot since. I've learned a lot since. Can't you call the police and say verbal abuse? Well, that, that's what she's done. And, you know, that, she, she's done that to me. And what but happened when the cops came? They see how... Uh, ridiculous of a call it is, and but so uh, he they didn't arrest you. No, and no. why haven't you called the cops on her when she verbally abused you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that was a biblical question a co- couple of weeks back. Mm-hmm. I I guess I'm not I'm not interested in engaging the cops for that. You know, they have more important work to do. But if you uh, call the cops and have her arrested, she would stop verbally abusing you. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they'll do that, though. That's the thing. But and you I'm don't know until you try until you do it. Yeah, the issue here is is that she um, will uh, put my daughter. I feel like my daughter is a hostage in this scenario. So I'm just, you know, I'm playing defense. I'm playing defense because of her. She'll she'll make the environment bad and. My daughter will suffer, and I don't want to... How old is your daughter? She's three and a half. But she's going to take your daughter anyway and screw her up. Well, that's what I'm trying to prevent. uh, But trying to prevent it from happening, you're causing it to happen. (sighs) I mean, you know, I... I, And and if you have her arrested, she'll be out of the house. You're right, that, that would happen, and that is a possibility. You know, you, you have mentioned that when a, a married couple does have a child, the order or the hierarchy changes, where the children are, are, the, are first, right? The children take priority. You know, that's another thing that, I'm, that I, I sometimes, uh, I don't know if it's a disagreement, but I don't know if I quite understand it, where as soon as... Divorces on the table. You've advised guys to be like, "Well, just let her, just let her uh, t- t- take the kids." If you produce a kid and the kid is a top priority now, that's not not putting not putting the kid first. If you give up so so easily. What, so your question for me about that is what? I kind of hear you say two things at the same time, where it's like be be proactive and try to get her, you know, try to get her kicked out, but at the same time, let her take the kids. You know, like, so, like, which, which is it, you know? Well, when uh, I tell guys that when, um, when a woman go to court, don't waste your money in court. Don't waste your money on a lawyer. Don't waste your money giving it to the courts because they're going to make you pay for a counseling for the child. And, and then, uh, and then you're going to end up paying a lawyer for yourself and probably for the woman eventually. And she's going to end up with your money, your things, and your child. Whereas, and, and, and the fact that she's taking your child from you by going to court and getting the support of the courts because the courts are not on the man's side, right? Um, yeah. Uh, you could be saving your money and preparing yourself, turn it back to God, and just work on you so when your daughter does return to you, you'll be ready to guide her in the right way. But it's a waste of money and time because you know you are dealing with an evil woman. Because if she wasn't evil, she wouldn't be take, trying to take your child away from you. 
but it's evil, yeah. and then you go to court. The courts are evil. You don't have a chance. Why waste your money like that? And the lawyers are not going to tell you, well, let's not do it. The lawyer wants your money, too, and, and it's just a waste of time. I mean, a waste of your money yeah. and time. Yeah, yeah, it makes it makes sense. I think I'm handling it pretty pretty well, attempting to get in, engaged. It's a, it's a fine line to walk, but, um, you know. Is she uh, trying to take your daughter yet? She wants full, full custody, um, but I know it, the court, even, even, even the... <laughs> Even criminals don't, you know, don't get that bad of a an, an arrangement. So I think her her lawyer and and the courts are kind of talking sense to her. But yes, she's not being fair about it. So no. she's trying to take your daughter. Yeah. And when you ask her how can she be that evil, what does she say? Well, she talks about how uh, how necessary. Uh, being with the mom is, and you know, it, the mom, the mom's rights. It came, it, it, it's everything you said. Like, oh, she came from me. She came from my body. I breastfed her, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Which, which is true. But that's no, what but, Satan is, does. That's that's not going to help your daughter at all. Your daughter needs you now. The daughter, if yeah. she's three years old, so she doesn't even need the mama except for the cook and iron and wash her clothes and, and homeschool her. She needs you to spiritually guide her. She needs to love her father uh, so that she can stay on, on well, you, well, this woman already screwed your daughter up and what you're saying is true because if she's trying to take your daughter away from you, she's already turned your daughter against you and, 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 and is uh, recreating your daughter in her image. Your daughter is already screwed up. But if you had the daughter, the daughter would love the father, and that way she would naturally love God. But she's not going to love God if she's with the mother because the, the mother need you in order to have love. She doesn't have love either, right? And so it's not helping her at all. Uh, Are you going to court and stuff like that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're we have we we have a, a hearing uh, coming up. Try to have a uh, present a good case. And if the courts were any good, the courts wouldn't even let her come in court suggesting that she has full custody. They were like, automatically said, no, we're throwing this out. This yeah, woman yeah, is telling yeah. you that she hates you so much that she is willing to destroy your daughter by having full custody rather than sharing, letting the daughter be with both of you. The daughter going to want both of you. Yes, of, of course. And, um, you know, she's not a, like, uh, now she's not 100% just her, so she's willing to share, but, like, you know, it's like... What did you know, she tell the court? I don't, I'm just playing. I don't want full country. I want half. Oh, no, not half, though. Not half. It's so she's, like, still, she's still wicked then? Yeah, no, she's not, you know, she, she's not... Um, she cannot to sit still and be mindful herself, you know? She, she, she sees the necessity of having some somebody else be uh, fulfilled or content. So I've tried to introduce your concepts. To, to her. But she's not going to accept that. Yeah, she's, she no. hates. She's not going to. But let me ask, um, how, and then I got to run. How are you feeling through all this? How are you dealing with it? It's tough. I, you know, I make, I sometimes make mistakes and like kind of put my guard down, but I think, um, I'm, I think for somebody in this situation, living with this person, uh, I think I'm pretty, I'm doing pretty, um, pretty well. The silent prayer and being mindful and being physically active uh, has been helping me. Um, you, hate, because, you hate going home? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm at work a lot. So, yeah, I don't, I don't uh, look forward to going home other than to, to see my daughter. Um, but do you stay away from home as much as possible? No, not as much as, not as, much as possible. But um, because it's, at the end of the day, it's my, it's my home, too. You know, like, I'm, yeah. not, gonna, I'm not going to... You know, like I want to use, I want to use the kitchen. I'm going to be in the kitchen. I'm not going to like hide in a, in a closet. That's the attitude I have. Well, here's um, what I recommend: do what you want, of course, but I recommend it from this day forward. Don't argue with her anymore. If she, okay. if when you go home and she want to argue, do not do it. Just stay silent and go on about your day in the house doing your thing. Don't sit there and listen to that crap because you'll be arguing with the devil. And the devil in her want you to argue with him so he can take control of you, too. Yeah. And do not argue with the devil. You may, If you need to make a statement about something, make it and be done with it. Do not argue with her. She's winning because she's working on behalf of the devil. She's winning your soul when you argue with her. 
Understood. Don't argue with the devil yeah. in, in the mind, and don't argue with the devil outside of your mind, inside of others. Do not argue with them, Neil. I'm telling you, just do what you got to do. Go home, enjoy your house, watch TV. Don't don't let her make you live in a corner somewhere. You enjoy your full house, have your own bedroom, use your kitchen, and do not argue with her at all. Don't tell her what you're doing or what you're not doing or anything. Just live your life as though she's already gone. Do not argue with her. Yep, understood. Yep, that's the way. Because she want, she's going to want you to be angry. She's going to want you to act out. And she's going to, first of all, she's working with the devil. We should never argue with the devil anyway. But secondly, she'll use that against you in court and everything. Yep, yep. Everything is, being, is under a microscope for sure. So do not argue with her at all. Okay. Are you able to do that? I'm able to to do that. I mean, sometimes it's just her asking a bunch of questions. Don't you know, answer and, them. Yeah. Yeah. Just say none of your business, bitch. <laughs> yeah. You don't saw that you can do it. I'm not. Um, I, I have no no I, I have and you know she's on she's on notice um, I don't I'm not obligated to, to, to tell her everything you know when it's stuff that involves my daughter though you know I do have an expectation that she shares with me and then she also has that same ex expectation don't argue but, with her Neil stop arguing yeah. no more argument yeah. don't try to prove right. anything to her at all yeah. And stay with the silent prayer and never mind mindfulness. And just doubt every <laughs> thought, thought so you don't get into this feeling stuff, emotional stuff, all right? Yep. Yeah. All right, Neil. I wish you well, Thank you, man. Jeffy. Thank you, man. Okay. Whoa, mess. Overcome the thought, you can overcome everything. Really. Emotion will disappear and everything.